Hello, I am Dr. Sheila. I am a consulting obstetrician and gynecologist practicing in Raja Rajeshwarnagar, Bangalore. We have our own hospital. We are Nagarbavi Circle SK Hospital. So, in natural labor, bloodstream is studded with oxytocin, natural hormone. It stimulates the uterine contractions. At the same time, it stimulates brain, releasing endorphins. So endorphin by itself is a natural painkiller. So there's a perfect balance between the oxytocin causing contractions and pain and which is neutralized by the endorphins released by the brain. But when we use synthetic oxytocin, it is not there. So it is artificial method. So oxytocin drug is used in certain conditions like induction of labor, augmentation of labor, induction of abortions, as well as in controlling PPH. Now let us see what is the difference between two natural oxytocin as well as uh, artificial synthetic oxytocin. Synthetic natural oxytocin release uh, oxytocin which causes contractions which are of not very intense whereas oxytocin synthetic oxytocin produces very powerful intense uterine contractions which last for a longer time. Synthetic hormone oxytocin is given in the form of continuous infusion pump whereas natural is released in pulsatile form. Because of the contraction produced by the synthetic hormone is very strong there is a, and it is continuous, there is very little time for the recovery for the baby because it totally cuts off the oxygen and the blood to the baby. So there is chances of fetal distress. It is not so in natural uh, oxytocin. At the same time, the contraction produced by the synthetic hormone is so strong, it is very, very painful. Whereas in natural, endorphin released acts as a painkiller. So induction with synthetic hormone, patient need to be hospitalized and patient has to be monitored. So she cannot be ambulatory unlike natural hormone. Like any other drug, oxytocin has also got its own side effects. So it can cause anaphylactic reactions. It can have caused nausea and vomiting, sometimes convulsions. There can be respiratory distress and chest pain and sometimes cardiac arrhythmias. But in my experience, I have rarely seen such problems. It's relatively safe drugs, so one need not be worrying about it. Effect of drug on the fetus. So here, because of the intense uterine contractions, there can be a birth with low APGAR score. Baby can be having fetal distress. Very rarely it can end up in fetal death also. And the, sometimes we have noticed fetal neonatal jaundice and also neonatal hyperbilirubinemia. What are the effects of synthetic oxytocin on the mother? We have seen patients after delivery going in for PPH. They bleed very badly, mainly because the sense receptors in the uterine musculature has become insensitive to the, insensitive to the drug. So they bleed. And another side effect of this drug is the breastfeeding is slightly moderately affected. So there can be a diminished lactation. And very, very rarely there can be uterine rupture. So considering all this, I think if oxytocin is a very safe and effective drug when, is, when it is used very judiciously. So patient selection is very important. CPD should have been ruled out. Continuous monitoring of the fetus is required by electrical monitoring and also progress of labor should be monitored. Because of, uh, by doing all this, taking care of this, definitely incidence of these complications can be brought down and definitely it's a wonder drug for a woman.